Hello, hello, welcome to Decor Lab. In this video, I will show you how to create a streamer, a great element to add to your decor displays that will make a huge impact. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So first, let's go over tools and materials you will need in order to create one. So the main material for the streamer you will need is a simple tablecloth. It comes in so many different colors and you can pick one from your local party store. Or you can use a pre-cut shimmer backdrop. For the base of the streamer, you can use any type of the string. Just make sure it's nice and sturdy. Here I have the polished hemp. This particular string is used for jewelry making, so it's very sturdy. I would also recommend using a very nice and sturdy twine or a red tail cord. Or if you are looking to make a wider ceiling streamer like I have behind me, you can use a fan snat. So this one is cut into strips. So out of like one big roll, you can make quite a few uh, big streamers. For the tools, you will need either scissors or a rotary cutter and a ruler or a cutting mat where you have everything lined up for measuring part of it. So now let me show you how to cut it. So let's open it up. So here, I wanna make sure I align the corners of each side of the tablecloth uh, so I don't have to cut as many so because I have them layered here. So in one cut, I will be able to get several rows. So we will be creating, uh, we will be creating the little strips of a uh, size inch and a half. So basically, if you do have the cutting mat, you can just align them at the mark. So if you want to align them on the mat, on the cutting mat, so you would align them at the even number and then we would cut it at the mark of inch and a half, right? So here, just go like this and then we place our ruler on top. And with a rotary cutter, now we're going to slide along the ruler to cut our strip. Just like that, okay? So it gives us like nice, like long stripes, okay? And since we double layered it, so we have two of them. So if you don't have the rotary cutter, you can simply use the scissors. So two options over here, you can either trace the line or just eyeball it. Because when they are in this position, you can't really tell, is that an inch and a half or inch and like and three quarters, you don't know but it looks pretty much the same no matter what you do. All right guys, now let's put some streamer together. So here I'm going to show you how to put a streamer together on the polished hemp. So for that, here I have a base together, but if you're doing it at home, you can simply use two chairs and tie a thing in between two chairs or a curtain rod or anything that you have around the house just to keep it hanged so it's easier for you to work around it. So I have this base. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use my clamps. I'm going to clamp it on each side of the base, but you can also tie it. So make sure you leave a tail on each side so you have room for hanging it when you are done. Or if you haven't left any tail over there like hanging, just make sure you start your streamer from like somewhere here so you have like a hanging room. So now it's very simple. So we take a streamer, again, two options here. We're making them about this length. So these are about two feet uh, in length. So we're gonna double it up, find the middle of it. Can you see this? So we're gonna find the middle of it. And then we're gonna take the middle with our two fingers and loop it over the string. And then pull the tail and pull to create a knot. Okay, so now this one you can move on it. So if you feel like, oh my gosh, this I started too close to the end, so you can move it. So don't worry about it. <laughs> and basically after that, you just put them 
next to each other. And basically you're like weaving your streamer on the, um, on the string and make your way from one side to another. So depending on the look you're going for, you would need a different amount of the tablecloth, of course. But I would say uh, just prepare to use several of them per streamer, even for a single string streamer, just to get the nice and fluffy um, look of the streamer. If you are creating the, uh, the ceiling streamer on a wider base, like here, then you will need <laughs> more tablecloth than you would for the single string streamer, okay? So it really depends on what you're creating, you guys. All right, you guys, so this is what it would look like. So basically that's your final product. Here you can make it as long or as short as you would like it. And look how nice and thick it looks. I feel like this is a perfect add-on to a lot of different setups. If you are looking to add it to a ceiling or to any balloon decor, that will be just gorgeous. But if you are looking to make a streamer for the ceiling, you wanna make it thicker. Basically create that on this net. So here I would just tie a streamer on each side of this square. Let me just show you how to do one so you understand what it looks like. So basically you would look which way this net would originally curve towards. So that will be the outside of your streamer. So basically you will be tying it to the square, making sure that your streamer hangs on the outside part. So we'll take the streamer and then basically follow the same technique. Just loop it around one side of the square and thread the tail out and pull on it. So it looks like this. So one side, so we're gonna do it on each side. And basically for this look right here behind me, you would go all the way on the net. So if you were doing the whole thing, I would hang it up as well as I did this one. But since I'm only doing one square, I'll just show you guys uh, how I do it on a table. So here you can see that we tied one streamer on each side of the square. So when you fill the full net, it will be a nice, beautiful streamer to hang on the ceiling, it will be nice and thick to have a dimension. One more thing I want to show you is how to create a shimmer streamer using this bad boy. Okay guys, so speaking of the shimmer streamer, this is what it would look like. I love adding them to my installations. So they look beautiful on balloon walls or just add it to your balloon garland or any kind of setup. Again, if you would like to make it for the ceiling, I would still use the wider net. But here, I'm not going to I'm not going to make it, I'll just tell you how to make it, okay? So here we're using the same net, but we're only using a line of one square. So we cut the line of one square, and on that square, we tied three strings of, str of streamer on each side. So here I have three strands, but we all tie them in one knot. So how to cut the strands here, if you buy it in a package like this, uh, so you can buy these things on Amazon. We'll probably can leave a link for that. Um, again, it comes in so many different colors. All of these curtains come with the base, like this. You don't need that base. So you would cut this base off and work with just the strands. So you cut this part off and then you will be left with an eight foot strand. Since we do not need the eight foot strand, we cut it in half to have four feet long strand. Then we take four little strands that will be four feet long 
and then we tie it to the base on each side of the base. So after you're making a final knot, like in the middle of it, the length of the final product will be two feet. So if you want to make it longer so you just don't cut it in half and just play with the length, length of the streamers as you apply it to the base. But if you are looking to like mass produce it and have several different streamers like I have in the back of me and have them in the same length, this is the way to go. And here you have it, you guys. A little tutorial for you on how to make streamers. Keep in mind that they do take some time to create, but remember that as soon as you create it, you can keep on using that over and over again. Streamer is such a great addition to any display. You can use it by itself for a display or add it to a balloon garland to create even more dimension. By the way, if you are looking the ways to create a balloon garland, you can find it over here. I hope you found this video very helpful and I will see you in the next video.